In this movie we will look at how decision steps and web approvals work in the DDM workflow. Here I have a folder already created with an engineering change proposal. The folder contains a drawing relating to the proposed change. Looking at the workflow we can see that it is ready to be sent for approval. If we look at the properties of the approval step we can see that it is designated as a decision step. If we take a look at the decision rules we can see that two approvals are required, both the engineering manager and myself, Mark B. We send the folder forward for approval and add some details or comments for the approvers. Emails are sent to the approvers notifying them that an action is required. Notice that the email also contains an audit trail of the process to date. Mark B is an office based user and so we can return to DDM to complete the task. A new favourite called My Workflow Tasks filters the results from my folders to those that are awaiting an action on a decision step. If we open the folder, we can now check the document and make an approval in the normal way, adding approval or rejection comments as required. The approver is notified that other approvals are pending and the workflow will not move forward until all required decisions have been taken. If we take a look at the audit trail we can see when the email request was sent to the approvers and we can also see any approval comments added so far. So let's take a look at the second approver, the engineering manager. This user is out of the office but has access to email and either access to DDM over the internet or via a mobile device, such as a smartphone. The email contains a hyperlink giving direct access to a mobile web portal. After logging in, the web portal opens on the related folder and task providing detailed information on the request. I'm displaying this in a reduced size window to show how the display is optimized for a mobile device. However, it can also be displayed in a full web browser, as shown. Buttons provide access to the full audit history and also the folder contents. The approver can view the documents or drawings and approve or rejects the request as required. Again, provision is made for adding supporting comments. Once complete, the user confirms his action and is notified that the action has been confirmed. If we return to DDM, we can open the folder and see that the workflow has now moved forward to the in work step as all approvals have been received. If we look at the audit trail we see all approvers comments and confirmation that all required actions are complete. This concludes the overview of workflow decision steps and web approvals.